When we look at cancer, and particularly cancer therapy, one of the interesting aspects of cancer that hasn't really been um, pursued that heavily is actually changing the extracellular pH environment. And this pH is very important for metastasis, growth, the things that actually cause cancer to kill people. And so what we wanted to do was to discover a way that we could actually change this pH inside the animal. And to do that, we need to make a new type of material. And so this research, this publication, is really going over how we were able to take something as common as calcium carbonate and create it brand new at the sizes that are necessary so that it goes towards and accumulates in the cancer itself and changes that pH locally and actually stops the tumor growth. Calcium carbonate is the same mineral that is found in limestone, in Tums. And what is really interesting about calcium carbonate that we found is that when you put it in blood, it doesn't dissolve. But when you put it in and let it reach the tumor environment where um, the pH is actually lower, you find that it does dissolve and it raises that pH up. So calcium carbonate becomes the system that we can use to change pH in vivo. And the nice thing about it is that you already have calcium in your body and you already have carbonate. And so as a result, our bodies can handle that system very, very easily. The research in large part was developing methods based off the literature and so forth that can make these small particles and keep it small so I could inject it and really make a difference in cancer biology. The tumor actually uh, stopped growing while we had the injection going on. And then when we took it away, the growth recurred. One of the interesting things for us is we've made a new nanomaterial that we could actually see a difference. And we could potentially make cancer a chronic disease. And if I can help one patient with this in my long-term sort of career, then all of it was worth it.